The pea shooter now actually gets picked up due to the overshield being in play. The overshield, you get double the shield. Only way to take it out is a lot of PR shots and a melee or a green gun. And the green gun takes out the, not only just the overshield, but their shield too. So it makes them a one shot. So it's good to have that in your back pocket. Now having that in your back pocket, we also added the overshield as well. What does that do to the game? Especially, it definitely gets people to leave from the top of the map to drop down to the bottom, right? It changes the game completely. Straight Ripping versus Carbon did a great job at showing just how important the overshield is. You can bait it, you can use it to regain control, you can use it to suffer them into coming up. There's so many endless options you can do with this overshield. Adds a great uh, edge to the competition. It's great, yeah. It's a great addition to the, the two, 2009 Pro Circuit. But now, right now, I'm watching SK. Cloud had that overshield. He scared SK into jumping laser ramp. But SK has gone through the bottom, went up the close lift, pick up a kill on clutch. Now he's doing work here in Sword. He has been staying alive forever, and he just did a great job of clearing off a whole bunch of members to believe the hype from the top. But finally, his spree is going to be ended by Cloud. As you see, believe the hype starting to get a few few points here on the scoreboard, and Cloud is set up for the overkill basically. As all four members of TV were bottom open, and he's doing work with those rockets, but his teammates need to get there and give them a little bit more support. And when you see all four teammates right there, you got rockets. Blast down a couple rockets down there. Your mouth has got to be water, watering to think you can get all those kills. Mm, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> and we also have about. 10 seconds now before those snipers come right back up here on Construct. Yes, and the overshield is now up, as you see on Cloud's dead body. I'm going to switch over to Clutch, though. Clutch is just sitting in the hill. Scott, keep your eye out for those guys going for that overshield. You see all four members of Triggers Down. We're focusing on Clutch right there to make sure he stays out of that hill. Demon Damage, Danny D, he's sitting back old trying to spot his teammates up. I'm not sure if they even know the overshield is in play, to be quite honest with you, Chris. Pistola just dropped close floor and went straight up back gold, so I don't think they even know it's in play. It doesn't seem to matter for Triggers Down because SK just got a double kill. They're sitting in the hill right now. They're only 45 seconds away from taking this game nine. I don't think Triggers Down cares. And we got Cloud doing work, trying to keep players out of the hill. Clutch is going to move in, try and pick up some hill time. At this point, Scott, you got four minutes left on the clock. You're losing by 70 seconds. Is this game over? No. You got to get that overshield that they, know was, they should know is in play. You got to get that overshield, get locked down the top hill. You got to scrap as much as you can in the bottom. I'm about to make you real happy. Oh. oh, yeah. Cloud's got it, baby. And he's got the pea shooter. See, he went down there with the pea shooter, I'm guessing. He's got three opponents in front of him, too. 
Well, and there goes an overshoot. So, well, you know, but he did work, though. His teammate Cypher was sitting in the hill, got a whole bunch of hill time. They're only trailing by about 60 seconds now. And But that's just too much triggers down. They, they just swarmed him. There's not much you can do in this situation. I try to go to Cypher. He's not doing much. Demon D, he's throwing desperate grenades from the bottom, scaring players out of the hill, and he's setting up for the bottom hill here, but Triggers Down is now just 25 seconds away. We're jumping on board with Hines. Just raining down fire, believe the hype. They seem that they are all kind of whacked out when it comes to objective games. If I could give them any one suggestion, that is to be practice those game types more during the off season, because they obviously dominate the team players. Is Triggers Down just a, a more objective-oriented team here than Blue the Hype? What's going on, Scott? You know, I think they're just out slaying them in the objective game pack. Even though they lost to Team Slayer, they're doing a great job at creating dilemmas for Believe the Hype. Believe the Hype, they sucker them into going for the overshield, or they sucker them into going for the hill, or they just get them caught off guard, and Triggers Down's taking full advantage of that. Well, nine seconds left here for Triggers Down. Hines eating up that hill time. He is gobbling it up. I said, look out for him to put up some big stats. I was expecting them in the kills category, but he is showing them off in the objective category. 91 seconds for Hines. That is so smart. Tony, like plus 15. Plus 19. No, plus 19. I was like, plus 19. Who would win that? This is so random. Triggers Down feel good. They always get the same assist. They are confident as hell. SK, he's got a smile on his face. And why not when he just got done Whoa. putting up 33 kills with a plus 19 ratio? Yeah, that's the team captain. Some say he's the weak link. Obviously not on Kasha, King of the Hill. I, triggers down, now up 5-4 to four in the series. Yeah, definitely not weak there. And we got game number 10. You heard it right. When we come back, Triggers Down is up 5-4 to four over Believe the Hype. 